Hey, we've got a 2014 model Holden uh, V6 Commodore. So it's got the LFX engine in it, manual transmission. Doesn't really make much of that part, but um, customer spoke to me last year regard like getting the car booked in because he was just concerned the car was just not running right and it was using heaps of fuel and. He had a backyard to tune it and they apparently put a Camaro tune in it, which I hear this a lot and it doesn't really do anything. Um, but, you know, he got that done and the car's just run like crap ever since. And then he's also just recently did some other work to the car, which has also created another issue. But um, the, the whole backyard tune thing, you know, look, and I probably, I probably shouldn't use that word in a bad way because once upon a time, before we were apprentices, we were backyarders. At the end of the day, we started there. That's where we started. So um, you just don't have the technology or the equipment or the knowledge, you know, back then to do it. So sometimes people bite off a bit more than what they can chew. But in this case, you know, they, they had a go. They tried. They tried their best. Um, they tried the usual copy and paste thing, and it just didn't work. So, but anyway, let's have a look at the dyno sheet, and we'll go over everything regarding, you know, what I've found. So. You can see here in the blue line that the car, this is how it came to me stock. So it made 121 kilowatts as it was from the previous tuner. Um, and then this, this line here where it's 155 kilowatts, which is we put a new air filter in it. His, his air filter in his OTR was mud clogged. It was horrible. So um, you can see the torque, you know, like 220 Newton meters is what I had before. And it picked up like, you know, it went to 250 Newton meters once we put a new air filter in it. And that's a good increase as it is. But once I retuned it and fixed it, you can see the red line. You know, this is where it is. 199.8 kilowatts at the wheels. You know, we're up to like 310 Newton meters through the middle. Like, look at the extra torque, you know, through the middle here. But when you look at the fuel mixtures, when it came to me, it was like 10.8 down to 10.2 AFR. Um, that's off its head. Like this is a direct injected engine. This thing can run 13, 13, 2, 13, 5 AFR, no worries. This car was happy at 12, 5 AFR. Um, and every car is different depending on how, you know, just carbon build up and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, it, that's where I found it was happy to be. Um, but a couple of the issues we found was the, the O2 sensors we're not functioning and you know i said to the customer we're gonna have to get some new o2 sensors in it um him and his mate put the cat converters on there and admittedly my knowledge should have said two people have worked on this car they've put cats on there they haven't plugged the cat convert they haven't plugged the o2 sensors in and i did ask the customer and he said yeah yeah they're plugged in so anyway long story short put the car on the hoist what do you know o2 sensors are not plugged in so you know if you're going to work on these cars with multiple people, you should always validate your work between each other saying, hey, have you done this? Have you done that? Validate that you've both done the job because, you know, not plugging O2 sensors in is really not the end of the world, but if you're doing suspension components, you kind of don't want that stuff falling off the car. So, but um, anyway, we, we, we plugged them in, got the trims working, you know, everything dialed in and yeah, awesome. The car drives awesome now. It's not blowing black smoke out the back like a diesel. Um, it's making more power, customers happy, happy days. Um, so yeah, like if you're gonna modify these cars, just really make sure you know what you're doing and, and just, it just makes just for things to work a hell of a lot nicer. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of my first little video for the year. So that's using the VCM OTR on an LFX engine. Um, this is done on the actual roller dyno today. We normally use the hub dyno, um, but the hub dyno is tied up. So, but yeah. Um, these engines are very sensitive to running rich and they and because they're a direct injected engine they don't like to be rich they need to be closer on the lean side than the rich side so you know tuning these things if you are going down that path of doing it yourself and you and there's nothing wrong with trying to do it yourself it's perfectly fine um, just don't treat a direct injected engine the same as a traditional port injected engine because what you run for fuel mixtures and ignition timing and all that is very, very different. You know, it's in the realms of, you know, the differences between using 98 octane and E85 fuel. You know, the difference between a direct injected engine is a very similar gap difference between them as in like you do things differently. So um, always tune the engine for what it wants, give it what it asks for. If it makes more power, continue to give that to it. If it doesn't rattle, keep going the same direction. Um, 
Ideally, a aspira natural aspirator engine wants to run as lean as it can run. So run it as lean as you can run it with the most amount of timing in it. And when you find that point where it starts to rattle, that's where you make a decision, right, we've found the zone, we've found the cliff, now we need to pull back to bring some safety back into the engine. So, you know, traditionally I would find the optimum timing. I would lean an engine right off. Once it's fully leaned off to the point where you find detonation, you go, right, we've gone too far. Now we're gonna pull, put more fuel back in until we start to lose power. Once we find the point where we lose power, we know the point where we rattle, then we make a decision, where do we wanna be in the middle? There is no right, there is no wrong. Give the engine what it wants. That's simple as that. So that's my free little tip for the year and I will be posting more videos as I get time to build them. Thanks guys, see you next time.